Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to return rows of a data frame based on the values in one of the columns of this data frame. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line 5 of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our data frame contains five rows and three columns, x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to return only those rows of the data frame where the column x1 is equal to the value 1. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 7. So in this line of code, I'm subsetting our data frame based on square brackets. And within these square brackets, I'm specifying a logical condition. So in this case, I'm specifying that I want to return only those rows where the column x1 is equal to the value 1. And then after this logical condition, I also need to specify a comma to tell R that I want to extract rows of our data frame. And then I'm closing the square brackets at the end of the line. Then I'm storing the output of this in a new data frame object, which is called data new. So if you run line 7 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears, which is called data new. And we can print this new data frame to the RStudio console by running line 8 of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom that we have created a new data frame subset containing two rows and both of these rows are equal to the value 1 in the column x1. So in this tutorial I have explained how to subset a data frame based on the values in a column of this data frame. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.